Hi, welcome to CSCpedia. Today we are going to discuss about Lex tool or a simple Lex program. So what is this Lex tool? So in order to discuss a Lex tool, we should know, a, uh, know about regular expression. So what is regular expression? What is regular language? Okay. So uh, depending upon the string, group of inputs will have an input alphabet like this. If our input alphabet equal to a comma b, then we'll get a strings only between a and b. For example, if I say number of a's followed by number of b's, that means a a a b b b. Okay, so I got I can call it as a star b star. That is issue. Okay, so your regular expression can be like this: a plus b whole star. A B star, A dot B like that. So you can use uh, union operator, concatenation, uh, closure. So these are simple uh, basic terms of a regular expression. So regular expression always specifies your tokens. Why? Because uh, our input alphabet is like that, right? For example, if C equal to A plus B into five, it's a regular expression. Let us assume. Uh, so C equal to A plus B into five. All these are tokens. So regular expression always specifies tokens. So how to specify a token? So do we have any specification file? For example, if we compile a C program, so we'll save it in .c. If we compile a Java program, we save it in .java, .net, like that, uh, PHP, Python, PY, like that. So what ex uh, what extension do we have for Lex program? So as we know, lexical analysis will scan your source input from left to right and divide that into tokens. From that tokens, we'll generate a source uh, parse tree. From that parse tree, we'll check whether uh, the syntax is properly uh, meaningful or not. From there, we'll generate intermediate code. From there, we'll generate, uh, we'll optimize our code, and finally, we'll generate our code using different instructions. Right. So this is what exactly happening here. So here, your Lex program is a specification file. So here, we have we should have a specification file, and we should know the extension of a specification file. So we'll see the simple basic structure of a Lex program. How your uh, structure of a Lex program looks like. Okay. So here, we have a Lex specification file. Okay. So your Lex specific uh, for. For lexical analysis, we should have a specification file for uh, lexical analysis. We call it as uh, Lex specification file, and the extension is .l. Remember, so x dot l Lex specification file, which is given to Lex compiler. So, what does Lex compiler do? Lex compiler will generate .c extension. So, Lex compiler will generate Lex dot yy dot c, which is lexical analyzer program. So, here we we'll get a typical lexical analyzer program. Are you getting? First. We should provide a Lex specification file. We call it as x.l, which is given to Lex compiler, not C compiler. Remember, and we get lex.yy.c, which is lexical analyzer program. And that lex.yy.c is applied to C compiler. We get a.out, uh, which is an executable program, right? So, and for that a.out, that is executable program, we provide an input string and we get stream of tokens. So, end of the day. We are generating stream of tokens, but how? So here we are having a Lex specification file. We call it as x.l, which is given to Lex compiler. We got .c extension, which is Lex .yy.c. It's not complete C extension, which is lexical analyzer program Lex .yy.c, and that is applied to C, uh, C compiler. We get a dot out, which is an executable program. For that a dot out, we are providing an input string, and we are getting stream of tokens. So this is a typical a simple Lex program. So we'll see the syntax for this. This is how it works, and we'll see the syntax for Lex, a simple Lex program. We call Lex as Lexer also. So if you see here, this simple Lex program contains three sections here. One is declaration section, second one rule section, third one procedure section. So if you see the syntax here, declaration section syntax is percentile symbol open brace, and we should write we should declare something declaration section, and percentile symbol closed brace, and in under rule section, 
Percentile, 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 percentile. And, and the last one is your auxiliary procedure section. So in this way, we build a sample C program. I'm sorry, sample Lex program. Okay. So depending upon this syntax, we will write a program or we will write an example so that you will get a clear idea about this. So if you see here, so this is the first section, uh, personal symbol open brace, personal symbol close brace and uh, in the second section, we are writing Rama, Sita, Gita, Nita, things like that, some nouns or verbs, okay. And the last one is the procedure section, we are writing main. So this is a typical Lex program. So in order to execute our command, if you see here, dollar Lex x dot L. Okay, so if you see x dot L, what will be generated? Lex dot yy dot C. Do you remember the previous diagram? X dot L will get Lex dot yy dot C. Okay, so here we command. Now we are executing some command cc Lex dot yy dot C. And if that is applied to C compiler, so CC stands for C compiler here, we get A dot out executable file. Do you remember that uh, diagram? So dollar slash A dot out, this is executable file. For this executable file, if you provide an input string, we'll get stream of tokens. So this is a typical simple Lex program. So we'll see one more Lex program so that you will get a clear idea. So if you like, this topic please subscribe to our channel please share my videos to your friends and well-wishers and please tell them to subscribe so that it will be helpful for them so i hope you understood this topic thank you have a nice day